and welcome back to the Plymouth Argyle career where we are off to a flying start in the Premier League. Second place after six games played, only one point back of league leaders Leicester City, but I have a feeling that's going to change today. First of all, there's no possible way we keep up our 100% win rate in simulations. It's just not going to happen. And secondly, we're going to play some good teams today like Chelsea, Man City, and Arsenal. And we get things started with a little trip to Stamford Bridge. Now, the big teams we've played so far have all rotated and rotated heavily. Is Chelsea going to do the same? From that, it doesn't look like it. That looks like a full-strength Chelsea team. Oh, a little ball down the line for Spider. Literally no one helping him, though. Top of the box. A little ball over here for McKenny. Should have taken a touch, McKenny. That wasn't good. Mara up here for Richards. I don't know why Richards is there, but he gets it to Nuhu. Nuhu. Pull back to Conrad De La Fuente. Conrad De La Fuente from distance. Well, that's a hell. I think that's his first goal for Plymouth, and what a goal it was. Absolutely unleashed the curler for like, what, 20, 25 yards? I gotta see it again. Oh, just have a pop, Conrad. I love it. Conrad making a very nice run. And for Spider, Spider gets it back. Oh, it's gonna fall for Kamara. Roof of the net, off the bar and in from Peduce Kamara. And that's a second very quick goal from Plymouth. Caught him on the counterattack. What is with this team? Now, coming into this, Chelsea playing a five at the back. I was not looking forward to this. Their center backs are worth more than our entire squad, but they've done nothing. Nothing. Uh-oh, Lukaku. Havertz linking up. Ooh, rattled the freaking post. Okay, yeah, do, don't fall asleep, boys. This, this is Chelsea. They are very capable. Oh, that was scary. Reese James has been the only one that's given me a problem so far. Oh, that's a good ball. Havertz. That's a bit of a soft header, if I'm honest. I feel like we should have done better there. We, we definitely, definitely should have done better there. This is actually getting a little bit terrifying. Oh, look at the, look at the movement. Big save, Cooper. Double save, Cooper. We're getting away with it just about. We're going to need more goals. There we go. Look at that ball. That's beautiful. Jeff caught. Nicely done. Spider across for Weston McKenney. How about that for some technical play, Chelsea? Put that in the back of your bag. Or net or whatever. I, I screwed that up. Just when we scored again. Ooh, Spider. Absolutely left the man in the dust. Oh, we did it again. Oh, Spider's hitting the flip flaps like it's nobody's business. Weston McKenney. What did Spider just do? He just flip flapped with the whole team. McKenney's got two goals inst almost instantly from kickoff. And it's 4 1 Plymouth. What the hell is going on? Plymouth on the attack. It's it's a Spider Douglas. Spider Douglas around one. Spider Douglas around two. Spider Douglas has the shot. Ooh, that was a cannon as well. Spider is on one. Oh, Richards. What the hell was that back heel from Conte? Oh, Carney. Ooh, did just enough to get it away from Lukaku. We got way too much space on this side. I can't get anyone over there. And there's Leroy Sané, apparently, for Chelsea. I didn't even know he played for them. Oh, what a play. Absolutely didn't need to. Ref should have blown the whistle. Instead, Weston McKinney is going to get his hat trick. Yes, sir. Weston McKinney is that guy. And he's wearing the armband now as well. He's the new captain of Plymouth. There's the final whistle straight from kickoff. I don't really know what's going on. That looked like a full-strength Chelsea team. That was easily, on paper, the best team we have played so far. And we absolutely smashed them. They had some really good moments. They dominated possession for large parts. But we just couldn't stop scoring. They couldn't stop us. You know how sometimes your team just kind of gets in a groove... And they just keep winning and winning, and they're beating teams they shouldn't beat by ridiculous score lines. And then you get a reality check. Well, here's our reality check. We lose 4-1 at home to Wolves. I may have rotated the team a bit too much for that. And we follow that up with a 1-1 draw away at Brentford. 
Jeff caught scored, but Michael Cooper picked up an injury. It's a good thing we signed the backup goalkeeper, but let's find out what the injury is first. Well, that's pretty much worst case scenario, isn't it? Six months with a broken tibia. To be honest, I thought it was going to be another broken toe, but uh, no, it's so much worse. So back into the Carabao Cup we go, and we have Tottenham this time. We're going to London to take on Spurs. They're going to go with a reserve lineup, it looks like. We're going to do the same this time. They've kept Kane in. We'll answer with Jeff Cott. Let's see how this goes. Oh, Madeira. Nice little spin from Madeira. Coming forward, still Madeira. All the way across. Nicely done. Manning through for Canobio. What has gotten into this team? That was superb. That was just beautiful. And Kevin Postma gets us on the board early against Tottenham. I mean, we're just dissecting teams right now. Can he fire it across? There's Canobio on the far side. Canobio in the middle. Jeff caught. Canobio has two assists. I mean, we do have a full reserve lineup, but we do have a lot of former starters in there like Canobio and Leva. And we still have that man, Luke Jeffcott. Uh, you know what? I, I don't mind this reputation that we're developing as the giant killers of the Premier League. We might get clapped by Wolves 4-1, but we haven't lost to a top six team. As a matter of fact, it hasn't even been close. We've been killing the big teams. Oh, it's going to be another one. Manning. Canovio. Oh, Collins went for it and whiffed. Alfonso Davies is just so quick and okay. Tottenham is on the board. 38 minutes in. Yo, that third goal pissed them off. It's been all Tottenham since then. They've just been ramming it down our throat. They finally got one back. Oh, that's just a bad pass. That's a... Woo! Good save, Arda. Wow. Okay. Got to be more careful. Canobio. Cross in. Uh, it wasn't a bad idea either. Oh, Madeira. Somehow. Pulls it back. Wide open. Postma. Kevin Postma with his second of the game. Tottenham just got all out of sorts at the back. They just couldn't get it out. And we finally found the opening we were looking for. 4-1 for to Plymouth. And I think... That's going to put Tottenham away. There goes the final whistle. 4-1 to Plymouth. And we continue our domination of the big teams in the Premier League. I, I, I have no explanation for it. I, I really have no idea how that's happening. So fresh off of our second thumping of Tottenham this year, we have a job offer from Marseille. And I'll be honest, that's a career that I've always been intrigued by. I've never done a career mode in France before, and Marseille and Monaco are the two that are really interesting for me, but obviously we're not leaving Plymouth. We're running with Plymouth all the way through the end of FIFA 22, and then FIFA 23 comes out. We're probably going back to MLS for a little while, but maybe at some point in FIFA 23, we could have a look at doing a career mode in France. So what next for us? We are at home to take on Leeds, and... Our last win in the league was a month ago against Chelsea. We kind of need to make the most of this month of November because December, well, the end of November and then into December, it's going to get bad. So we need to pick up the points where we can. McGurk blocked by Odomeo. What? How did he get that cross away from a header? That made no sense, but Kamara brings it out. And here comes the counterattack of Plymouth. Isaacson is straight up the gut all alone. Isaacson, never a doubt. Never a doubt. one nothing early to Plymouth. That's just how it's going for us right now. So they're doing well working the ball. It seems like every team is able to do that. But then they have that one little mistake. Oh, Jeffcott. It's just, they're not even more. What was that? Jeffcott's going to score. I mean, he's not going to miss, is he? He's going to put it top beans, and it's going to be 2-0 at the Plymouth. I don't know what Leeds is doing at the back. They are shambolic. Isaacson all alone in here. Isaacson coming in. Pull it back. There's Kamara. I just... What, what are they doing? It's just so easy. Jeff caught again. <laughs> it's like It's like a scrimmage. It's like training drills out there. Look, they tried to press. 
They just, they try so hard to press, and then we just walk past them. And, you know, the press does not work. It just doesn't. They need to give up. Just stop pressing, because it's killing them. Spider coming forward. They're just going to let Spider go. Apparently, they're just going <laughs> to... That <laughs> Hey, Spider, come on, man. You didn't have to do it like that. You didn't have to do him like that. That was a bit dirty. So, at 6 nothing, I decided to have Mercy, or I thought I was having Mercy, and sim the rest of the game. But we scored three more times after I simmed it. Gordon came in and scored. McKenny scored. And Kellerman scored. And we won 9 nothing. I, I don't know if I've assembled, like, the greatest team in the history of the sport or what's going on. But we're just stomping teams. And to finish off the episode for today, we get a 1-0 win away at West Brom. Otomeo got sent off in the ninth minute, but the squad still held it together. And McKenney got the game winner in the 85th minute. I mean, this team, this team is something special. And that win brings us to third place in the table after 11 games. Liverpool's jumped up to this top spot, still unbeaten, and Leicester's hanging around the top as well. City is a couple points behind us. Now that I see the Wolves are fifth, that spanking they gave us today is a little bit more understandable. They got United, Chelsea, Spurs all still in the top 10. Nothing really too out of the ordinary. You know, mid-table teams doing mid-table things in there. Arsenal are 16th. Okay. I think they're officially on relegation watch this year. And uh, I guess that's how we beat West Brom with 10 men. They, uh, they're dead last. So I guess that makes sense then. But that is going to do it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you when we come back for some more Plymouth Argyle career. See ya.